talk about the initial reaction. Uh, I mean, you look at the bracket, LSU, there's a lot of history there. Absolutely. Uh, what a tremendous venue for college baseball. And, you know, our guys are excited about going going back down there. Even some of our former players that had the opportunity to go in 2003 were here today. And, and uh, So our current players got a chance to, to hear a little bit more about uh, what it's like down there. Uh, and I'm sure they'll find out even more over the next couple of days. But uh, we're excited about going back and, and playing in this will be a new park. You know, we played in the old box. And, uh, you know, we had a chance to play in their new stadium. Uh, same clubs, us, LSU, Tulane, uh, Lehigh in there, Northeast was placed from 2003. So, uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to, to the, the challenge of going in and compete. Tulane beat us here during the year this year. Uh, very, very solid club, especially on the, on the mound. And uh, LSU, you know, their record speaks for themselves. And Lehigh played extremely well at the back end of the year and won their conference. Uh, they've got some good arms and, and a couple out of the bullpen. So uh, we've got our work cut out. If you were to describe, how would you describe LSU as a baseball fandom, as everything? Is it as crazy as people make out their football fans? Is it, what is the atmosphere like? Uh, it's uh, festive. To say the least, uh, you know their fans are tremendous, uh, and they understand the game. Uh, that's the great thing about the, the folks down there. Is they have a they have a great feel for the game. They have a great appreciation for the kids on the field, uh, and I think that's one reason they fell in love with our guys in 2003 because of the way they played, they played the game, and they played it extremely hard. Uh, you know, we're fortunate once again. That's a boost, a boost for our players. Uh, maybe we get over the hump and then, of course, they'll be pulling against us. There'll be 9,000 plus pulling against us the following day if we get to that game. Tulane, uh, how much of an advantage is it playing somebody that you're familiar with already played this season? Uh, you know, we played them a midweek game, so you know I think most clubs would be somewhat familiar with, with the position players. Uh, but neither will be really familiar with, with the guys on the mound. Uh, maybe one or two that were used out of work in that day. But, uh, you know, we're going to face a weekend starter. They're going to face a weekend starter. So it's going to be a different look for you. How do you go about that? Do you, do you go about, uh, it, it, you set it up kind of much similar to how you set up the CAA tournament? More than likely, that, you know, that'll be the case. Uh, we really haven't had the opportunity to sit down and, and discuss you know, how we'll set it up. Didn't really want to until, you know, we had an idea of who we were going to be playing. Okay. How do you prepare with it? limited practice time because of travel, this, that, and the other? How do you guys get these guys ready? I, you know, I think you just spend the time that you do have available. You know, practices need to be short and crisp and uh, on the field, get off, and, you know, let's move to the next day and, and try to prepare with a, a nice short one tomorrow because they're going to have to keep their legs underneath them, uh, you know, with a long week this week with flights and travel and uh, practice four days to be prepared to get after it uh, all weekend long, whatever it takes.